Well, it's Sunday, and I'm a, a little bit late to the party today. I had some stuff to do this morning and then just got off of a, uh, a Zoom memorial for a dear friend, Alan Kozlowski. Um, it was past two and a half hours. There was several hundred people on Zoom um, paying tribute to him. He had passed away recently, uh, but it was... It was deep. It was really moving. He was a photographer, cinematographer, musician, entrepreneur, amazing guy. And, uh, and a lot of people were involved in performing on this. So it, it was pretty great. Jackson Brown talked about him and sang. Bonnie Raitt talked about him and sang. Jeff Bridges talked about him and sang. Um, Kenny Loggins talked about him and sang. Anushka um, Shankar uh, talk about him. She, he, he's, she'd known him since she was a little girl, and he, and he was very close with Ravi Shankar, and she performed. Um, it was just you know Steve Postel from our band, the Immediate Family, was a very good friend of his, and he did a really beautiful song. Uh, and it was just all these people. You know, I was scroll as it was going. I was scrolling through the pages of all the people that were logged in, and it was. It was really deep. This guy was a deep, amazing guy. And um, he put up a valiant battle against cancer, but it finally took him out recently. So, so I've been, uh, I was involved with that. So I'm, I'm kind of a little late in the day here getting out. So I think a lot of people are probably uh, in Europe or something or are hopefully sleeping, you know, relaxing. Um, but I'm going to finally just go visit John Kay. <laughs> I've been threatening this for, for a, a week. And then poor John keeps getting uh, sidetracked. Um, so what I'm going to do today is, when I got involved working with John, it was an, an album called My Sporting Life. And it was produced by, by Richie Podler and um, Bill Cooper. His partner in business was the engineer on the project and, and they were great to, to work with. They did all the Three Dog Night records, they did um, Iron Butterfly, Black Oak, Arkansas. Um, they had a, a studio on Ventura Boulevard here in, in um, Studio City called American Recorders and uh, it was a really a funky, funky studio but man great music. You know, I mean all that Three Dog stuff is just amazing and it was always fun, fun working with Richie because he he was, a st he was also a guitarist, and he'd be sitting behind the console, and he's always playing guitar along. So you'd look in the window at the producer, and he's playing guitar, too, in the other room. Um, but, um, but John Kay was the lead singer in Steppenwolf, and I was a huge Steppenwolf fan. Uh, loved those guys. They made some great records. And um, it was a, you know, a real, real treat to actually do a solo project. With John and spent some time in the studio with him. He's a really nice guy, great, great guy. I think he, he might live in Nashville at this point. I, I think at one point he moved down there. Whether he's still there or not, I don't know. But um, the song that, that he, it's so interesting because he, he on, on the album, he did Drift Away, the Dobie Gray song. But apparently John had been, uh, he had wanted to cut the song a year before Dobie Gray cut it. And, um, and if, uh, I don't know who the producer was on, on, at that point with him, but he put the kibosh on it and said, no, I'm not, I don't like that tune. We're not going to do it, I guess. And uh, so this came after Dobie Gray had his hit. And Dobie, this is really kind of his song. I mean, this is really one of those iconic songs that um, as soon as you hear it, you kind of go, oh, Dobie Gray. Um, but it was written by Mentor Williams, who was uh, the great songwriter Paul Williams. That's Mentor was his brother, and uh, he died of lung cancer back in 2016. Uh, but I'd worked a bunch with Mentor. He was really a fine songwriter and uh, and a really great guy like Paul. I mean, they were a neat family, really, really amazing brothers. And um, the players that 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 I was grabbing on this. Um, because it's really funny. I mean, I go back with the guys. I mean, Danny Korchmar was playing guitar on the album. Russ Kunkel was playing drums. Um, Larry, the great Larry Nechtel, who was in Bread, but he was one of the, 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 the main studio keyboard players. And he also played bass back with the Wrecking Crew. 
like if you listen to, um, I think it was um, Bridge, well, first off, Bridge Over Troubled Water, he's the pianist at the beginning of that. And I think he played bass on Mr. Tambourine Man and all kinds of stuff like that. And then Mike Utley was also playing keyboards on this project. And Mike Utley went on, we did like all of the uh, Christopherson and Rita Coolidge albums together, did a lot of work here. And then he eventually, I think he's a musical director for Jimmy Buffett. He's been with Buffett for years. And um, so um, so I, I thought, what, let's just let's just do John. I, mean, I hope I, I'll, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll get through this one. Um, but this is John Kay's version of of Drift Away. So here, let's let's do it, and then we'll visit a little bit more after this.
Bam! Sorry for the clamatoes in there, my, my boulia bass. Uh, hadn't run that one this morning. I got behind schedule here. Uh, it was fun throwing up those couple of little snippets from uh, Kate Taylor's project uh, the past couple of days. I filmed those yesterday. Um, it's kind of hard, you know, like when we're talking charts and arrangements and stuff to actually be filming when you're actually supposed to be engaged and involved in things. Um, and also a lot of people commented, everybody had a mask on in there, but, but Russ didn't. And when I started filming, he, he had it on and, you know, I kind of looked over and then he had taken it off for a minute, was like wiping his face and then sat there for a few minutes and then put it back on because he had it on the whole time we were in the studio. But I caught that moment and everybody's real concerned about him. But, you know, it's his call, his call. But it was really fun. We, we, we really cranked through, got a lot of really cool, cool songs done. And, uh, and it was really fun. It was really fun having um, Cooch and Waddy and Albert Lee all playing together on a thing, they picking their parts wisely and not stepping on each other's toes. Um, but we had a great time with that, and uh, now it's a matter of just, you know, them doing whatever they're going to do, but our basic tracks are finished on that project. And uh, uh, let's see, I think, you know, that's about it. I just wanted to, I might do another John Cage, uh, a John Cage, not John Cage, <laughs> a John K song. Uh, at some point, because uh, it's a really cool album. But I really, what's been really fun is like, you know, doing the stuff from um, from Allison Porter, and um, and and Tom, and um, you know, it, it's just like one of these things that word gets out, and um, next thing I know, all these people are calling me, just going, man, thank you for putting us up on your channel. Um, it was it was really really so sweet of you. I'm gonna double check one thing here, and hold on one minute. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Um, where are we down in here? Oh, I was just checking. I was maybe gonna do something else, but yeah, Tony Gala contacted me and he said, "Man, thanks for you know for the shout out on there." And Tom Lerner said that he's working on some new material and maybe we can go back and do another album, which would be great. And Allison uh, is just wonderful. She wrote, she said she was tickled to death that I, that I put her stuff up on there. And there's another singer, I'll probably visit him this week, uh, named Josh Doyle. Josh is amazing. And um, it'd be really fun to share some of his stuff and it's a really cool story behind it with Josh. So um, I, will, I will get to that, but I just wanted uh, just to get in here today because it, with the uh, memorial service that went on, um, it, I'm like hours behind schedule, uh, I wanted to get in earlier and I'm going to go out and I have a couple of, uh, my wife picked up a couple of flats of uh, flowers and plants yesterday. Now I'm going to go out and do some planting in front right now and get that done. It's really nice out here. Uh, things have cooled down. Not, not. It's not cool out, but it's pretty, pretty tolerable from for me. And I'm gonna go out and, and just get my fingers in in the dirt, which I love to do, and uh, and like that. So, um, take good care. I hope you all had a, a good weekend. And uh, my thoughts are always with you. I really, uh, it's really fun. Like I usually finish off my evening. Um, by sitting and reading all of the comments on the videos, and uh, it's it's really fun. You're you're an amazingly cool community. I'm proud that we've all gathered here like this. It's a, it's really a, a trip, as one would say. Um, so take good care. Uh, uh, once again, there are people who aren't getting weekends out of this. They're out working still, dealing with public, dealing with trying to keep our uh, keep us safe, trying to heal those who are sick and all that. So thank you to all of them. I'm going to do a little um, FaceTime in a little while with my, I just talked to my sister and um, her daughter and her husband and their kids are up at their place now in Montana. So I'm going to give them a shout in a little while so we can FaceTime with the kids. They love seeing the dogs. So I'll chase the dogs around the yard and, and do that. Um, but 
my sister's daughter and her husband are both school teachers and they're still dealing with all the stuff that they have to deal with, with homeschooling their kids and doing online teaching and all that. Their jobs just went into a whole other world. But they're really gifted teachers, so I'm really, I'm glad they're the ones that are taking care of, you know, the upcoming generation. So have a great rest of the weekend. There's a few hours left. Also, uh, this is the bass I used on John Kay's record. It's Frankenstein. It's just, look at that, hardly touching it. Okie dokie. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe some Josh Doyle tomorrow. So we'll see. I'll probably get sidetracked, but I'll get to him. So take good care. Bye-bye.